Hey guys, it's Decker Annie here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to stream with Streamlabs OBS and get it set up for yourself. So that way you can go live on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, or whatever platform you want to. I'm gonna show you how to set it up here today. So let's get right into it. So I'm of course gonna have Streamlabs OBS linked down in the description area. So what you wanna do is just click download Streamlabs OBS and you wanna just open up this XC file when it's done, of course, and you wanna just run it like so that way it starts installing it. So now that Streamlabs is installed, all I have to do is just click open Streamlabs on my desktop. And you're gonna see right here, it's gonna open it up like so. There's not really gonna be much to it. If it asks you guys to log in, I don't recommend logging in. Just click skip on this because of the fact you wanna get more customized of your settings. So what you're gonna have access to is your source scene, your actually the feed, and on top of that, your sources and scenes. So now keep in mind that the scenes are actually like the little hubs you keep your sources in. So for example here, this is the main source we got. If we wanna add ourselves a video capture device, all we have to do is click add button right here. And then what we do is go to video capture device if you have one, and we're just gonna add source. This actually does count for the webcams too. So if you do have a webcam, you're gonna go through this method as well. And then for example here, we're gonna click on this USB video capture, which is a capture device I have set to my side over here. So you can see right here, we have our video capture device added so if we want to just add this we just close this now and we're all good to go so you can see this is my uh, webcam i have here i have a side angle webcam and i have a front camera angle so uh for example here this is our video capture device now if we want to move this around like so we can just drag this over and then if we want to add maybe like ourselves a you know gameplay scene we can just click on add source if you have a single pc setup then what you want to do is actually click on display capture because display capture is going to capture the monitor screen that you use for normally for gaming so we're going to click on add and of course we're going to add a source and make sure that it's the monitor you use normally for game you can select or click automatic for me i'm just going to click automatic because i only have one monitor for the setup and we're going to click done now the thing i want to keep in mind is make sure to drag the gameplay scene down i mean it's not scene source down below the actual webcam because your webcam is going to be the top of your bun imagine it as the burger the bun is going to be your face cam the actual bottom part of the hamburger bun is of course going to be like your gameplay scene and then anything in between is like your sources alerts and all that jazz so if you have this this is like a normal setup all good to go but if you want to add your alerts or maybe a video capture device for like gameplay you can do that so let's just say for example here we want to add a video capture device for gameplay for a dual pc setup we can do that and we can just click on add a new source instead and then we're just going to click on another capture card so i have this capture card here i'm just going to add the like so and that way i have access to that and of course you want to just drag it to the bottom so you can see like that i now have my gameplay available for me to actually use so now what i'm going to teach you guys on how to do is add alerts alerts are going to be a big thing for streaming so what we're going to do is go back to the stream labs page and what we're going to do now is go back to the tab from earlier and we're going to click on log in so we're going to log in of course with our twitch or you can log in with youtube whatever platform you want to use kick is not available at this time but you could do it down the line when you want to so what we're going to do here is click our stream labs and then we're gonna have access to our alert box. Now in our alert box, you'll be able to copy this URL and I recommend you do this. And that way you get access to the alerts you wanna use. And now what we got since that uh, link now, what we can do is add a browser source. So we're gonna click add, add browser source. We're gonna click okay. We're just gonna leave it as that. You can call it alerts if you want to. And then we're just gonna paste that link we just got in here. And then once we close this, we should be good to go. So now what should happen if I click actually one of the alert actions on here, like uh, let's just test, test follow, it should trigger an event. So you can see it triggered an event like so. And this is a very old alert I have in mind, but you can see it works. So what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do next is actually add your mic. So what we're gonna do is go into our settings on Streamlabs. And what we wanna do is go into audio. Now, when we're on audio, we wanna go to the mic device one. And what we're gonna do is click whatever mic we have. For me, I have a Blue Yeti. So I'm gonna click Blue Yeti Blackout. We're gonna click okay. And you're gonna see here, we're gonna get access to our mic. Now, there's a few things you wanna do before you actually like do use this is make sure it's not clipping. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is go into your gear setting, go under, filters add filters or add filter and what we want to do is add a filter and we want to just add a noise gate and it's just going to make it so that when we stop talking it doesn't have that ripple effect so let me stop talking for a second here you can see that we don't want that so what we're going to do is add a noise gate so that way when we stop talking it should just go to absolute silence you can see like that it works perfectly fine now the next thing i recommend you do too if you see your audio is still clipping into the red i would recommend you dial it down just a bit so that way it doesn't actually peak or clip and that way you don't miss out audio and like when you scream it doesn't get out of hand you know what i'm saying so that's what we want now what we got to do is teach you guys on how to actually get your stream set up so that way you can actually go live so we're gonna go is do stream and what we're gonna do here you're gonna probably have it on and defaulted on some other stuff so what we want to do 
is going to stream servers and when we're in stream servers we want to make sure you have it set to our twitch or whatever platform you want to and we want to go grab our stream key from twitch now that we're on twitch what we want to do is go into our creator dashboard in our home profile picture and then go under the settings now when we're in settings we want to click on stream and within here we're going to get access to our stream key and we're just going to copy this like so and we want to just take that what we got and put it into of course our stream app so we're just going to paste that stream key here and with that we're all good to go now the next thing we need to do is teach you guys on how to stream, set up your stream settings so what we're going to do is go to output and in output you're always going to have yourself on your simple but what we want to do is set this layout actually to advanced so just turn on advanced and what we're going to do is click on whatever device we have so if you have an nvidia gpu what i recommend you do is click the nvidia nvenc new and if you have x264 use x264 but you want to use nvenc if you have access to it now the big thing to keep in mind while streaming is to keep it on cbr and have the bit rate set up to what your speed is so if we do a speed test here what you want to look for is 12 megabits if you have 12 megabits or more then that way you can actually stream at the best possible stream settings so we're just going to click on speed test and just make sure to see whatever you get for your upload speed not your download speed once you have access to your upload speed you want to just take this information and see if you have more than 12 megabits you can see i have way more than 12 megabits and if you have 12 megabits what you want to set this to is 6000 so we're just going to go into our stream settings set this bit rate to 6000 that's the best settings we can get at. and if you don't have 12 megabits or 6 megabits up or at least more than segment 6 megabits i recommend you set this lower if you want to do like an entry level i recommend just doing 4000 and that's either good so for a time being we're just going to say 6000 for the time and what we're do is set this to quality and then we're just going to set this to high look ahead turn that on and visual tuning of course turn that on and with that we got our stream settings all good to go now the next thing we do is set up our video settings so if you have of course 12 megabits you want to set this to 1920 by 1920 and of course you can set this to the max if you want to it's not really necessary but i recommend if you have uh the maximum stream settings you can just do this and then set this to common set this to 60 and if you don't have 12 megabits and you have less than that what i recommend you do is stream 720 and when you stream 720 this is actually going to be a little bit easier on twitch and also people who are viewing the experience and then you can also turn this down to of course 4000 or 4500 and the reason why you want to do this is because uh when you stream 720 by 1920 when you stream 720p it doesn't need that much bit right so you can literally just cut this in half if you want to like for 3000 but i recommend you do 4500 if you have access to it and of course if you do 7 to 720 of course your scenes are going to be a little bit smaller so you might have to move it around if necessary now that we got our stream labs all set up you can see we now have our mic we have our gameplay and of course we have a gameplay here so if i was to start playing something on it some audio maybe some like apex legends and stuff like that we should just be able to load that up with no problem and of course we'll see the audio pop up under here too now make sure when you stream your gameplay of course the clipping thing watch it don't let it go in the red if it goes to the red you definitely need to turn that down you should definitely aim for it to be in between the green and yellow just a little bit peeking into the yellow but nothing more than that so that's just something to keep in mind so you can see our gameplay is a bit peaking so we're going to turn that down just a smidge so that way we can just be good so now that we have all of our settings all set up what we should be able to do is click go live from our actual uh, stream apps and then be live on twitch so we're going to click go live we're going to go back to our twitch of course under our dashboard and what should happen here is just give it a few seconds and we should be able to get it to go now another thing to keep in mind too is when you see yourself go live here make sure to set up your stream to say whatever you want it to for me i just have a saturday vibes and stuff like that but if you want to do something customize it you can customize it here you can set what category you want to play i'm playing apex legends i'm gonna leave that as it is you can customize the message that goes out to your viewers and do some other stuff if you really want to but that is of course how you go live with streamlabs obs professionally if you guys did find this video helpful make Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're almost a thousand subscribers here on the channel we're literally less than 200 away so it'd be very much appreciated if we can actually hit it that'd be awesome and of course i'll see you guys around for another tech video i actually got a video over here going over a very cheap capture card that is actually only 30 dollars and it performs as good as an elgato capture card so i recommend you check out that video next or maybe this one this one's best for you